Oh man, that incense is, uh, that's the strong stuff. You, uh, you want to take a hit? Go for it, I'll be here. If anything, I would enjoy to hear of your exploits and how well you handle all the trippiness of that. Dragonborn. Hey. Yes? I... Oh, I could have asked him how I get in. I just... I kind of want to ask him to see what he says. Oh, it wasn't letting me hit enter. It is said that one may only enter in dreams. There you go. All right. Well, I got the dragon book. Now what? Let me see that. Oh, okay. You know, you could say please. As expected, it is magically tethered to its counterpart. We can use this as a compass to lead us to the other. I am not sure where we are headed. The other book is too far to know with certainty. Meet me at the temple at the bottom of the crater. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, he just teleports to the other side of that. You know what? That's probably a good way to do it. To ensure that he doesn't accidentally fall off and die. Because, ooh, I nearly fell off and died. If anything, this is going to be a little steep. Oh, God. Oh, 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 there we go. Into the water. All right. I'm so glad they put that down there. Because otherwise, whew, that would have been a rather nasty fall. Meet him at the bottom of Witchcraft Crater, which it's still pointing to him right now. It's not necessarily pointing to where I need to go. Let me let me let me get back up. Um, <laughs> let me let me get around this. Although it does look like I could take this right here all the way through. I could go from lower Kuzal's Den to upper Kuzal's Den and kind of go through this mountain pass. Let me try that. Let me do that rather than teleporting around. Given that we had found Vizier, I feel like it would have made sense for us to encounter him by the Templar scripts. I feel like that would have been a good time to have us rendezvous. This will also be nice because this is just going to be a side cave, and it'll be just nice to see, you know, a little bit more of what they did with some of the side locations, with some of the non-mandatory locations, too. Oh, you're still alive? Nope, you're dead, but you're just a walking man. So are you. It's because they're dying in the water that I think it's throwing off something in their AI this is such a fascinating mod to me, and the fact that it did really just kind of fly under the radar, I do think is a little bit of a shame. Is it perfect? No, but I really continue to think that it's one of the most ambitious mods that I've seen in years now. It's absolutely the largest Skyrim quest mod to release in ages now. And, well, once again, it's not perfect. I do still have my kind of holdups with the way that it handles uh, some of the story pacing, some of the characters and whatnot. All those things are things that I think, you know, could be adjusted and fixed. I would love a little bit more communication from the mod team themselves. I would love a little bit more communication from them because ultimately they haven't necessarily done the best job at communicating updates, changes, uh, what they plan on doing with the mod in the long term. Wait, you were not standing here a moment ago. Where did you come Another from? Another lost traveler falls into the serpent's den. Hmm. But you are different. You have survived our judgment. Thank you. Who are you and what do you want? I am the priestess of this holy shrine. 
One that your foreign filth has tarnished. Sorry. Yet you live. The serpent god demands of you, traveler. Who in oblivion are you people? What is it your god wants me to do? In the prophecy it is said, an outsider would come forth with the heart of an elven maiden, innocent of battle, unblemished by age. I think I've played that romance mod before. The blood of the traveler is offered unto the shrine, and the heart shall be burned as a sacrifice. You will bring us the heart of this Landstrider, and you will make the sacrifice to the Serpent God. I... You want me to extract the heart of a young, innocent, elvish girl? Correct. Oh, okay, I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page, and you want me to spill my own blood over the shrine? Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just... I thought I was going crazy and imagining things. But why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> Don't you understand? This is the prophecy. Finally, the god of the harvest will enter this world and rule over it as he sees fit. Okay, all right, bring the heart of an elven maiden to Ixara. What if Tidings. I don't want to? Because that requires killing some poor innocent elven girl, and yeah, not necessarily what I had on the agenda for today. I was looking for a shortcut, and a shortcut I did not find. I do like their conviction, though. If anything else, I do like their conviction of, yeah, clearly he's going to agree to uh, to find the Elven Maiden and sacrifice her. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he be okay with this? Does he not want the Lord of the Harvest to take over and rule the world as he sees fit? Well, listen, lady, I'm sorry to say that I'm already kind of preoccupied a little bit with another dark entity trying to take over the world. I only have enough time for one dark entity at a time. You gotta... Take a number, we're gonna form a line, we're gonna form a list. I'm gonna focus on the one that I've already been working on already. Uh, now... Yeah, it does look like there would have been a way through Kruzal's den, but I also don't know if I could have gotten to the upper part of the den from down here. So, we are just gonna fast travel. And it does turn out that we had already discovered where... Solus did want us to go where Solus wanted us to end up. Hopefully, we find a vizier. Hey there! Hey, there he is! We found him! Our buddy! Idiot! You broke the transporter. That is why we were delayed. For the last time, you told me to press... You know what? Never mind. Let's just focus on the present, shall we? I am sure the keys are long lost by now. High time we witness your talents, Lizard. I mean, he makes a good point. What if we just Wait, went to... Wait, we're here for the Dragon Book, right? A ruin where... Oh, the key's just gone. We don't have a way in. Do not worry. We have it here. Have we done? Good to hear. Where are we headed? As I said before, I am not sure where we are headed. Though, if I had to guess, there is a Dwemer Temple not too far from here. Oh, another one then. Well, this time you ought to push the buttons. <laughs> so, you admit you are colorblind. He got you there. I never said that. He did kind of get you there. After you. Man, why do I feel like I'm just going to find Alduin's wall in here? It's Alduin's backup wall, you know, in case the other one uh, was lost to time. The ramparts of Dragonrest. Oh god. They were said to be a barrier against something deep within the caverns. Don't look down, don't look down. I wonder if we'll find another... 
Did you hear something? Transporter, another Finally teleporter. Fun. <sighs> or maybe we'll just find, uh... Oh, no, oh, you murdered them with apocryphal magic. That was pretty cool. Man, it is so nice to have Solus on our side. It is so nice to have Solus helping us. Yeah, whether we find a transporter or maybe a... Um... Maybe even just like a, a boat to take us back to Skyrim. Wouldn't that just be nice? Wouldn't that be great? I found you. Goodbye! Down to the dragon ramparts with you. I'm just waiting for that to kill her, and there you go. I hope this contraption opens the door ahead. I hope so too. I'm just gonna save first. Okay. Do you think there's a cold ale for us at the end of all of this? I hope so. I would like a cold ale. I... Yeah, because we have the keyholes and we have the blood seal. Well, I was going to try and spin the dial, but... How are you so committed to the whims of your employers? Oh? I'm not. Here we go. Yet you have risked everything for something that you will not possess. Strange, don't you think? I'm being paid to do this. Save me the apathy. If you cared about wealth, you would not be here. Maybe... maybe not. So what then? Do you enjoy trying to get yourself killed in creative ways? It has been pretty creative. Are you trying to insult me in creative ways? Just ask the question, you timid bookworm. Relax. I was just... Never mind. He's so much no, taller than so I want too. you to ask the question now. Stop beating around the bush. Fine. Is there something you are fighting for? <laughs> no. Because it all burned down in that god's damn raid in Leowen. Understand? That's why I'm here. Yet you have the temerity to insult my mission. How is that better than what I am here for? Don't look at me, look at him. I'm still here because I want to be. You are here because you have no will of your own. Hey, once again, don't look at me. Look at him. Look at each other when you're talking because I'm not a part of this. Okay, so we have these pillars. The only thing is I don't entirely know. Hmm. Because we have one, three, Five on this pillar, and we have zero, two, four on this one. We have how many keyholes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, in my mind, for some reason, that makes sense of oh, let's have this correspond to the number of keyholes that there are. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I see. Why can't you just teleport us all the way over? Actually, I had the right idea in the end. Or at least I that was the that. solution. Yep. Can't or won't? Both. Explain. It was to it rotate it all the way around. To which teleport apparently all three of us at worked. once, over and over. I cannot move us very far. Also, you are annoying. <sighs> So you sold your soul to that haggard librarian, and that's all you can do. Ugh, gods. Best friends forever. What is it? No, 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 keep, keep walking. Best friends forever. We're gonna keep in touch after the end of this, right? We're all gonna be best of friends and send each other Christmas cards and birthday cards and then, you know... Every once a year, you know, we'll, we'll get together and sit down over a cold pint and say, you remember that time we, we got lost teleporting and we're going to sit and laugh and then cry because, you know, you got to balance out the emotions here. Balmor? Well, I would like to fight them. I just got to get past you guys first. Also, please don't fall into the blood pool. Damn it. 
Just a scratch. I will be here if you guys need me because you're kind of in the way. There we go. I'm going to go after the wizard. I'm going after him. One thing that I am liking is that while we have the Thalmor here, it's not as though the Thalmor are, you know, the main enemies. It's nice to have a big quest mod that isn't just, oh, the Thalmor are trying to undo the world. He's something the matter. I'm someone that I like plots in which, you know, Thalmor are trying to be, you know, the worst bad guy, trying to be the ultimate enemy, but I don't need every mod to be that. And having this be a story, the matter. a grand story, not about the Thalmor, does make it a nice change of pace. We can rest here, if you wish. Oh, thank you. We just ran through half of their army. Here of all places, no thank you. Ahead is nothing the uninitiated can reach. I will summon a barrier. Nobody will notice. One of us should keep watch. Fair enough. We can draw lots. No. I'm sure you'll use some weird magical trick to cheat. Let the Dragonborn decide. And make it quick. Y you should keep watch. Me? Am I making that mistake again? So now... Oh, and I'm actually within this barrier too. I mean, he's the warrior type. I just... I kind of trust him to look after us here. Once again, just gonna save, and then off to Betty Bye. Let's sleep until the afternoon. We had a long, long night anyway. Are you awake? Oh. I hope that was energizing. Let's get going. It was okay. Beast blood makes it a little bit harder to sleep, but, you know. I keep on forgetting I have beast blood, that I have lycanthropy on this save anyway. I was also half expecting to go to sleep and then wake up in the Unworld. So I'm glad that was not the case. I'm glad I'm still here in the Hang world. Hang on a moment. World. We can talk this through. I agree we can. You want me to do the talking? I just wanted to make sure. Hang on a moment. We can talk this through. I agree. Who are you? I'm just a sailor. The soldiers paid me to lead them here. You have anything for sale? Uh, what were these soldiers doing here? What are you doing here? Look, I'm just a plain old sailor. Some elves came to me offering me a hefty sum of coin to be their guide to this elusive island. They weren't too happy when I asked about the details. We're on an island? What's it like in Seems elsewhere? like it, but haven't seen it with the my own eyes. Is Every ship sailing the along the south shore never returned. Uh, not so much. Then again, it sometimes I couldn't find this place, no, even with the same I route. Suppose it depends on I've heard live. legends of magical islands I moving on sure their own. Artaeum, you know. Uh, what maybe not. Marsh? Sounds too uh, wild to be true. Same thing. Except what are you doing out here? As they say, I was that guy. Uh, the soldiers. I mean, down to Black Marsh. I figured out a route from the western seas. I think I'm the only one to have done so. You know how to get here, but you don't you know, or do you know how to get back? Of, all of, this? Oh, of course. In fact, I'm thinking of packing up. This is not what I signed up for. Honestly, same. I can get your group out of here too, if that's what you want. I don't think they're interested, but I might be. Works for me. As soon as you're ready to leave, let me know. Ooh. <gasps> and there it is. Take me to Skyrim. Oh. So the one thing I'm going to do is I just want to, I know I'm saying it a lot here, make a save. You know, make plenty of saves. Do it in a vanilla game. Do it in a modded game. Saving often is your friend. Yes? I just want to see what happens. I want to see where I go, if I can restock, because if I have the chance to do that, that's one of the things I've been asking for, and I'll be very happy. Skyrim, huh? Ish. That's quite the voyage. Uh, not that I'm saying no. <laughs> you might want some warmer clothes. 
Anyway, are you sure you're ready to go? I won't be turning around. You can be sure of that. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Never mind. Never, never mind. What's the matter? May the hiss to guide you. Is something the matter? I really thought this was going to be a way to go back and forth. I was really hoping Dragon for Boy, that. Dragonborn, what do you need? I... Moon's blessings. Okay. So never mind. Because that's now the second time they've given us a way out of the quest. They've given us two chances now to just abandon the mod yes. altogether. Oh, he actually has a lot for sale. In the very beginning, when we have first started, they even do the thing of, oh yeah, you could, uh, you can just leave, you can just abandon this, you don't have to listen to the dream at all. And now we have another opportunity to, I understand that he wouldn't necessarily want to return, but at the same time, if we had a little bit more of a way to take a break here, I think that could have been really good too. I think this would have been a very good natural, like, breaking point where we could go back to Skyrim, go back to Silvermoon Valley, and then still have a way back here too. Well, in that case, we shall keep going. The, alright, the cave entrance, the way to go is this way. Sorry, I saw a ship, I saw a boat, and I was very intrigued. I was like, oh, we're getting out of here. How much further? I am hardly a cartographer, Lizard. And yet you claim this is the right way. Yeah, we got a book compass. It is not as though your guesswork fares any better. Who said anything about guesswork? Why do you not shut up? No, 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 you guys don't talk enough. This is nice. very reassuring. I, I, I like that you're talking more now. This is good. Traveling companions, banter. Well, I like banter. What now? Banter good. Never mind, jackass. It's pronounced Jacques. -os. You know what? I'm not comfortable with this. Dragonborn, you lead the way. Hey, I don't know where we're going I either. I have a general sense of direction. The Dragonborn does not know the way. I, I don't. I'm not convinced you do either. So it's a 50-50 shot. Fair enough. I suppose it is your right to pick your poison, as they say. Are we gonna go swimming? Okay, no. Not swimming. I wasn't sure. Once again, Christmas cards, and once a year, what we're now? gonna hang out and talk about the good old days. I'm just gonna wait for you guys. I'm just gonna stand here and wait. Massive, massive, massive cavern right here. Listen, the Akaviri, they didn't think small. They really, <laughs> really did not. Oh, and because Solus is so short, it was swimming for him. Oh, poor Solus. You know, you probably aren't a big fan of water in general. There he goes again. Yep. Oh. Listen, uh, short mage kings rise up, you know? In you go. I'll... What is it? No, no, no. You go, you go first. You go second. Because you already went through. And I'll go after you. Oh, and he had to swim a little bit more. Yep. You guys... Bring some torches. Where did Vizier Did you just go? lead us into a trap? Wait, Vizier? Who are you talking to? The Dragonborn, obviously. How is it obvious when you have blamed me for everything until now? The walls are closing in. Get us out of here. 3PO! Do not be absurd. I cannot teleport through a wall. Well, find a way out. Oh, and that's poison. What do you think I am doing? This is not going well. I see no escape. Creepio, shut them all down. Make all one. the trash compactors. All what of them. What are you saying now? Every single you one. Know exactly what I'm saying. If I cast a spell that powerful, I will lose too much magicka. I will hardly be able to do battle. I'm just so okay. you'd rather become a cat sandwich. All right. Got I'm it. I'm a little worried about uh, this. I see. There is no other way. 
Oh, that is the only way then. I thought I was going to have to find a way out. Does it not work? Oh. Oh! Gods, you were really pent up, weren't you? Damn, you... Do you think this is funny? Blasted. I have no magicka now. I can hardly feel it. I got a potion. So, we have to fight Handicap. Well, it's better than being crushed by a giant rock. I got a... What do you want now? I got a potion. Do you want it? Dragonborn. What do you need? I, all right, I was just trying May to be you walk on warm sands. I even bought some potions. You know that sailor had everything. Dragonborn. Hey. The Forbidden Gate. Beyond this lies Dragonrest Falls in its full glory. Legend has it, no living one can unlock it. I see that the Thalmor failed to do so. Okay, I thought that was going to be a pressure plate. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I thought it might have been a pressure plate. What is in the strong box? Nothing of importance, but I just wanted to see. Here we go. 30 of the sun's dusk. Under orders from our captain, we've been trying to dislodge the allegedly stuck door. They didn't tell us how large the door would be. What are we supposed to do? No matter. I merely write this in case we give up that we may at least catalog our progress. According to our expedition scholars, there are scripts that regard the store as the Gate of Dragonrest, and that according to legend, no living person can open it. I'm not a scholar, but nevertheless I question the veracity of the translation. Is living a precise translation? One scholar inferred that it ought to say alive, and that person should be replaced with body. <gasps> oh. Okay. And there's two bodies. I don't know if this is actually how it works, but it seems like a pretty good guess. Whoops, sorry. I dropped you. Butterfingers and all that, you know. Ah. Uh -huh. <gasps> yep. I have a very bad feeling. I know I have a lot of bad feelings, but they're usually right. That's really cool, though. That was very, very cool. Oh, and you can see dragon language etched into the stonework and everything, too. Compendium Titan. There I stood witnessing a manifestation unlike any other. That mortal mage has professed to have mastered the art of conjuration is frivolous. For a pact of dragons, the mere utterance of a phrase could summon something unparalleled. I realized it entirely as I gazed upon the lifeless creature. But every system has its weakness, or so I've been told. I noticed that upon its crown was the rune that bore it from the elements. If I was to defeat this monstrosity, I ought to jump atop its head and f destroy the rune. But I am a flightless being, hence I thought it preferable that someone else tries before I do. Okay. Still a little worried about that, because I feel like I'm not entirely... I'm not entirely flightful myself either. I'm not entirely full of flight myself, so. We'll see how this goes, but it sounds simple enough. Get on top of the head, destroy the rune. If anything, a lot of the boss encounters and a lot of the boss kind of puzzles are very similar to things I've seen in a lot of other games. There are mechanics that I've seen in other boss fights across other games which I don't think is a bad thing. If anything, I think that familiarity you probably get us out of here now, Solace. Is probably a Idiot. really for the good last way time, to balance I it. have expended all my energy. Hi. Your thumb is strong, water. Thank you. Enough that we can sense it. 
chiefly among those without it. <laughs> you desire to cross, yet you have no place here. This domain belongs to the rulers of the skies. I am flightless. You are lofty enough that fate has placed you here. Perhaps your own pride has fated this day. But your mere presence is an affront to our domain. It would be foolish to enter battle with such a death-defiant creature such as yourself. We have designated a servant to fight in our stead. Defeat it, and you may pass unharmed. Your victory shall be payment to cross. Consider it a mercy. Fight bravely, Jewel. Perhaps if you entertain us, we shall take pity on you in your defeat. Yes, and valor shall be rewarded. Strong the king. Oh, this seems bad. Can someone translate that? Uh, not good. Very, very not good. I would say hide. By the history thing is huge. Hide. Is oh. that an Atronach? He's got a big hit me sign on his back, I will say. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's like mildly terrifying right there. Yeah. Oh! That scared me. <laughs> that really that. scared me. Okay. Oh, 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 is that how I can jump onto his back right there? Hold on. I need you guys to help. I... Oh, no, no, no. I see, I see, I see. Okay. I'm going to slaughter you all. Okay. I gotta jump up on his back. Oh, God. I wonder how timed this is. Oh, I'm also just... <laughs> God fucking damn it. Fucking Skyrim and platforming is a not lovely combination at times. I'm hoping that this isn't timed. It doesn't seem to be. It seems to be fairly generous. And activate the rune... Also just gonna hit it for good measure. Oh god, am I gonna want to move back? Oh, oh! Hmm. Alright. I am just going to get ready. I'm gonna hop up here and be ready. Oh! Do not tell me you just threw me off the map. Do not tell me you just killed me instantly. You did. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna jump up this time. I'm gonna be right down here where when he slams on down, I'm just gonna flop a little bit in a nice, safe, enclosed space. Yeah. Just like that. So, I've yeah. learned the hard way. You do not want to... <sighs> you don't yeah. want to fall. You don't want to be anywhere near the water at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very quickly make sure I just don't, like, fall off. Ugh. Uh, so I'm gonna stand on your horn, activate that, yeah. and get back onto the pillar, back onto the pillar, and run. Ooh. Damn it. I think that worked. <sighs> yeah, I think I did good. Well, now I need to lead him around. Here we go. We only have one other pillar. We only have one more pillar. Here he comes. Is he going to break through this walkway? Or was I supposed to try and lead him all the way around? I'm just going to stay here where I feel mildly safe. I do like that he kind of just takes his sweet time, though. It's very convenient for me. Yeah. Yep, I know. I'm a little on fire. Uh. And there it is. There it goes. Out of curiosity, can I save mid-fight? I can't. Yeah. I was going to try and jump up in here, because that uh. looked like it was going to be easier. It's unfortunately not. 
Yeah, I feel like platforming-wise, this could have been a little better. Just because some of the heights are a little awkward for the jump height that you do yeah. get in Skyrim. Alright, and once again, I just gotta be really yeah. fast about it, so... Onto your horn, onto the rune, and across the pillar we shall go! Oh, beautiful. Uh. Now, what do I do with you? Where are we going next, Mr. Atronach Man? Oh, he's landing over there. Is the Atronach down? Well fought. <gasps> Yes! Us with your display of power. Can you stop now, the comets now? Way, Can you stop the fireballs then? Waits for no one. Fokri, Valan. Well, thank you for the stairs. Are you guys with me? Imagine if Solus was just stuck on that middle platform. Imagine if he was just stuck there, which... Where is... I'll get you for that. Where is Solus, by the way? I'm a little concerned now. Because Vizier is still trying to fight. Vizier's not happy. I'm not sure where Solus went, and I'm a little worried about that. I'm... <laughs> Man, turn this into a drinking game. Every time I say I'm gonna save, just do a shot. You're gonna be dead by the end of this, but I'll get you for that. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go across. I'm gonna hope that Vizier and Solus pop to me once we go on through. I would hope so because that would be a very awkward jump for them to make anyway, so I'm sure they're just scripted to pop to us once we're inside. 